Welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm joined by sharpening expert and longtime <laughs> workshop employee, Steve Baker. Uh, this guy knows everything about sharpening knives. We're gonna walk through how to replace or repair the tip on a knife and how to repair like a damaged chip in the blade. Welcome back. So we've got Steve joining us today and we're gonna walk through tip repair and chip repair. First, let's get to know Steve. You've been at WorkSharp for ever. Uh, yeah, a little over 22 years. What did you do when you started here? I actually started working in production. So okay. I was actually Build assembling, tools. assembling the, the tools. Yeah, drill doctor back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, back then it was drill doctors before WorkSharp. Yeah, yeah. So, and now you're a, a design engineer, and uh, so you, what does that mean? I'm actually designing tools. Um, worked my way up through the company, through various departments, um, went back to school, and had this great opportunity over the last 22 years to progress, and now I'm actually designing tools. Um, one of the favorite things I've ever designed here is this attachment, the blade grinding attachment. Um, I'm designing that along with the, the Ken Onion Dan Doval designed that while I was doing the accessory for it, and it was just, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I really this enjoy is, it. Yeah, if you guys haven't had a chance to use this tool, I, I think it's everyone's favorite here in the building. It's how we sharpen when we go to shows, and yeah. it's awesome. And we're going to use it today to fix the tip um, and just show off some of the capability. That's going to be really fun. So we've got a, we've got a little Wustoff paring knife here. Yeah, we don't, we don't actually have a knife with a broken tip on it, so we're going to take this guy and we're going to go over into the lab area next door and I'm going to break the tip off of it. Let's do it. Let's go do it. There you go. Sorry, somebody left a piece in the vise. Oh. Now we have a broken tip. Sorry about that. So, there you go. So a few things you want to think about when you're sharpening or when you're repairing a tip. Mm -hmm. Knives have different tapers to them. You know, you have your primary that tapers down to the cutting edge. You also have distal taper where your knife gets thinner as it gets out closer to the tip. So I like to try to keep the the original cutting geometry. Mm -hmm. So what I will do, and I'm gonna do it on this knife, is I'm gonna grind from the spine down to the cutting edge. I'm not gonna grind the cutting edge up to the spine because it's gonna get really thick up here compared to what we have down at the cutting edge. So we're gonna grind that down to the tip. Helps me keep the original shape of the knife, all that original geometry. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna use the, the blade grinding accessory. And I'm going to come right up here on the pulleys and the slack belt in between the pulleys. And we're going to keep that, we're just going to grind all the way down to yeah. it. Another good and important thing to think about when you're repairing a tip, especially on folder knives or folding knives, is a lot of them, when you're closed, the tip of the knife isn't very far into the handle. Um, this one's a really good example. Stephen, if you want to shot of that, you can see how that tip is really close to the handle there. Well, if you grind the up to that tip, you're going to take off enough material where possibly that tip's going to be above the handle. And that's going to be in your pocket and creates yeah, a real hazard. In. When, exactly. When you reach into your pocket for something where you grab your knife or your keys or whatever, you don't want that tip sticking up out of the handle. It's going to get you and it's yeah. not it's not going to feel good. Okay, so bring in, yeah, bring in the, the, the spine down to the bevel is a great idea. If I don't have this tool at home, what else could I use? Um, you can use your, your typical sharpening stones. Um, you're going to want to okay. start with the coarse grit, mm -hmm. obviously, because there's a lot of work to do. But um, even a flat stone, you could come in. It's just going to take more time because it's going to be a manual system. Mm -hmm. um, or if you have another powered system, whether it's um, a belt or a disc, if you can get in. Um, oh, can yeah, like a, like a bench grinder or something like that. To... You just want to be really careful. Um, you are doing some, it's thin, and you are doing some heavier work. So you want to be mindful of temperature. Mm -hmm. So um, typical annealing temperatures, you're gonna run 400 degrees plus. 
Okay. Um, and through the testing we've done. That's heat. Uh, that's heat treated for those of us who yeah. don't know. Yeah. So that's where you're going to start affecting the heat treat of your knife. Um, and the testing we've done is in a steel, right about 100 degrees, maybe 120 is the point where you really don't want to touch it. It mm -hmm. hurts. And it's that kind of knee jerk reaction where you just pop your fingers off of them well below the temperature where you're going to hurt your knife. Mm -hmm. So basically, as you'll watch, as I'm sharpening, I'll reach up and I'll, you know, take some of the grit off and clean the knife, but uh, also using that as a chance to Check feel the temperature, temperature to make sure that I'm not getting too hot and I don't want to blue or blue that knife. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a good tip. So keep a keep a wet rag or sponge or or just take a break yeah. if you're if yeah, you're using exactly. a powered sharpener. Yeah, you can keep a wet towel or sponge or like you said, just take a quick break and just let it cool off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just takes a few seconds. So we ready to do this? Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Um, I know when we're done, I'm going to come back in. Once we fix the, the tip, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to sharpen this knife up too. So I'm going to adjust the angle. I want my knife to be at 17 degrees. So I'm going to adjust this down to 17. We'll just lock that in so I don't have to worry about it later. Let's track. Okay, like we said, I'm going to brace my hands on the machine just so I can be stable. And now we're going to come in and start grinding that spine down. Steven, the fans said they want close-ups. Can you get closer? And I'm trying to follow the geometry of that spine too. I don't want to come in and take all the material just off the tip. So I'm trying to blend it in. So you'll notice I'm grinding, you know, quite a ways farther back than I need to, just so I can keep a nice smooth transition. So when you're using it, it's still comfortable to use. And what grit do you have on there to start with? This is 120 grit. All right, so pretty coarse. Yeah, because we're doing a lot of work right now, so. Getting closer. We're getting close to that bevel, and then we'll come back in and sharpen a little bit. See, we're getting really close to the bevel now. We're just about there. Okay, I think we can sharpen, finish that by sharpening. Um, during this repair, you end up creating um, kind of sharp edges up here where we've been grinding on the spine. Yeah. So I always like to come back in and just very lightly just rounding that off. Just round them off a little bit. Kind of mirror the finish that's on the other, the rest of the spine there. Yeah, you just don't want a sharp part up there. If you use your finger up there, it's just not comfortable. Yep. So I just come in a couple times very lightly. You always want the blade going away from it when you're coming in on my, you don't want it to grab. So that works. So now we're gonna come in, um, so we've gotten down really, really close to that tip. We're gonna come back in, and now we're just gonna sharpen. So using that reference plate, you then bring the knife up between those pulleys to that slack belt section, and you set that angle at 17 degrees. Yep, so this reference plate gives us a, a horizontal reference to this section of the belt here between the pulleys where we set the angle yep. earlier. 
And 17 degrees is a pretty good angle for for kitchen knives, especially for you know something like a paring knife. We'll find detail work and. really good and we got a burr on both sides so now we're just going to swap out we're going to go through a progression of belts to refine that edge and help clean up that spine a little bit more Sharp to me. Now you get your tip back. Awesome. And all of uh, well, what we spent ten minutes doing that. Yeah, maybe. Bring life back to this. Uh, Normally, you don't have to run over to the shop to break your tip. Well, yeah. Hopefully not. That looks really good, and you can hardly tell that it's uh, like the shape of the knife is pretty much the same as it was before. Yeah. You did a really good job bringing that, sorry, Steven. Really good job bringing that tip down to just get a really good shape on there. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in this week. If you wanna check out some of our previous videos, click the link here, or if you wanna subscribe, click down here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.